Today we're looking at Mint Mobile. The carrier that promises premium wireless at a fraction of the cost of the big carriers. We're gonna look at the service, the features, the performance, and why I'm looking at other options in 2024. What's going on everybody, it's your boy Everton. And if you've watched my videos in prior years, you'll know that, well, Mint Mobile has always been my recommendation um, and one of my favorite carriers to use. Um, but things are a little bit different in 2024. I actually feel just a little bit different. And I'm gonna go over that today. And just a quick note, my Mint Mobile affiliate link is in the description and a pinned comment. If you click on that, you can help support the channel and it won't cost you anything. So what is Mint Mobile? Mint Mobile is an MVNO that runs on T-Mobile's towers, which basically means it's a prepaid carrier that doesn't own its own infrastructure, rather it uses T-Mobile's. The carrier was founded in 2016 and recently agreed to a still to be approved by, by T-Mobile. The company does offer plans with unlimited talk, text, and different amounts of data. The unique thing about the company is that they do sell plans in bulk three, six, and 12 month increments rather than month to month. The monthly cost breakdown will adjust to be less based on you choosing a longer commitment. When you purchase a three month bulk plan for the first time, pricing is set to give you the rate as if you were buying it for 12 months. But at the time of renewing the plan, you are going to be subjected to higher rates if you were to choose the three or six month option. When it comes to coverage, the plan does offer 4G LTE and 5G, which is based on T-Mobile's mid-band, which in my experience is plenty fast and actually really good for penetrating inside buildings, which I know is a concern for me. I'm indoors a lot of times. Call quality was up to 2024 standards in my opinion. Um, I haven't really ever had any issues with calls dropping. The service does offer Wi-Fi calling in those extreme circumstances where you don't have any coverage in a certain area. Now, data speeds were very fast, um, showing download numbers that are extremely high, but speed tests more or less for this network does show network capacity rather than what your individual line is going to experience. Uh, you may see a reduced performance when streaming YouTube at higher resolutions, whereas tests show that you do have access to the data that should allow you to stream 4K with ease. Mint Mobile does something that other carriers do, which is reduce the performance when you're on heavy data intensive platforms like Netflix, YouTube, basically video streaming apps. They reduce the speed down to support 480. So you run into a lot of buffering sometimes. Now in order to solve for this specific issue, I do use a VPN. Now I recommend Nord VPN. The user interface is simple to understand and you can connect up to six devices, which is great for me. So pretty much love it. So when it comes to reliability, I've been with them for almost four years and the, I've only remember experienced one outage that lasted about three hours that actually stemmed from T-Mobile having top issues with their towers. And the one thing I'm not a big fan of is how it's optimized to only support for a your standard quality, um, especially when I'm on like higher data plans like the unlimited or even if I were to unnecessary, I still have to have that 480 speed. Um, once again, I can get a VPN to get around this, but I would just love for it to work out of the box. Pricing is competitive in the prepaid space when I compare them to what other companies charge. The data allotments for gigabytes is where the customization lies within the plans. You can get gigabytes allotments of 5, 15, or 20, or you can go up to the unlimited plan, which is about 40 gigabytes. The plan does come with some features like hotspot data, Wi-Fi calling, calls to Mexico and Canada at no additional charge, and you can get international like data passes, but you can do that at a purchase. The plan also comes with what I like to call a tell anybody referral program, where you can basically post your referral link on social media, you can tell a friend, you can tell your next door neighbor, and they will give you a credit towards your renewal plan. That way you can reduce or completely eliminate the cost of the renewal. The referral program is a little bit of a hack for me because I use it to take care of my entire cost of the plan. And when I do that, I'm not assessed taxes and fees. Now, if you were to pay it out of pocket, the next time that you do pay for it, you are gonna be subjected to taxes and fees. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit of an annoyance for me. When it comes to flexibility, being that this is prepaid, once you purchase a plan, you do have a seven day grace period where you can return the service for a full refund. But after that, you have whatever you bought, whether you love it or not. So I do think that the plan flexibility overall is a good option. Just be aware of the seven day grace period or buyer's remorse period where you can actually test out the service and go to different places. And if it doesn't work out, then you can put out your number and just fill out a form and get a full refund. No questions asked, no hassle.
when it comes to the online experience, the app and website does look pretty modern. And if I had to critique it, it's that usage analytics or historical analytics are not immediately available when I compare it to some other companies out there that offer better visual dashboards. Over the time I've had the service, customer service was good in my experience. Now, the longest wait time I've ever had was about five minutes, and that's an extreme case. Now, the associates were pretty knowledgeable, but I would warn that make sure that you have your inquiry ready and clear and easy to understand. It's not always the same level of experience or expertise that you might get with a major carrier, although that hasn't stopped me from getting any of my issues resolved in a timely manner. But my thought is that the company with the best customer service is the one that operates so efficiently that I actually never have to call customer service. And I have really had to call customer service to resolve an issue. So I'm going to give it a good thumbs up. Overall, I am happy with the service. I think the prepaid space benefits from having this company. Midmobile has a unique take on buying cell phone service that isn't for everyone. But if you have the budget for, to pay for 12 months at a time, you can save a lot. I think the consumer type that would most benefit from this is the type that knows the amount of data that they need and can afford to pay for a few months at a time and doesn't want to rethink about having to pay a bill every month. So why am I looking at other options in 2024 other than Mint Mobile? Well, it's because of the lack of priority data. Now, priority data basically means that once the network demand gets too high, that I will not be subjected to well, basically deprioritization where my network speed slows down and I can continue to have a good data experience. Now, I will tell you that I have had that happen to me recently. I would like that to be added to Mint Mobile. And it doesn't even need to be a lot, but I understand why they may feel like they may have to give a lot to match other carriers. But the truth is that when I'm at the shopping center in my area and I'm in line at drive through waiting at a very popular place, sometimes my experience has been reduced to the point where it's almost unusable. Now, this has recently happened as my city has grown in population. So, I mean, I get it. It hasn't always been an issue, but I could immensely benefit from from priority data. And I don't even need to be a lot, but I understand that they, if they do offer it, they'll probably have to match this industry standard. But I don't think that it's something that I would use a lot, but it does come through clutch in certain situations. But even with that stated, it's a minor inconvenience that's more of a one-off situation. It doesn't routinely happen, but in those scenarios, I am a little bit annoyed. Um, I would actually consider staying because of all the other benefits that the network data is pretty fast. For the most part, there's not always network congestion. Um, it has a great referral program and immediate customer service is a big deal for me. And just a quick reminder, my affiliate link for Mint Mobile and for NordVPN will be in the description and a pinned comment. If you click on that, once again, guys, you will support the channel and it costs you nothing. But until next time, I'm Everton and I'll do videos Everton's way. Peace.